What's going on everybody? Kenny Dubs here with a Mega Man X Dive update video. Now for this video, we're gonna have an update for uh, the NAEU and Latin America uh, regions as we are all getting updates uh, around this time. So, you can see here on the Rockman's Corner, this was retweeted by the Mega Man X Dive Twitter and we had heard about it on Discord, but I wanted to wait until we had wanted to wait until we had uh, an official like announcement kind of thing for it uh, to confirm you know what's coming up so as we had heard on discord we are getting some thanksgiving pulls in x dive as we see here next week thanksgiving day brings free pulls a global version of recommend x dive while it's primarily the tradition in the united states never joy did not want to leave out the european and latam servers Everyone gets a free 10 pull every day during the holiday week final details after the break which is very very nice uh, like I said, uh, it's more of a United States tradition, uh, at least to my knowledge, I don't think any, or in many areas in, in Europe or in Latin America would celebrate it. I know some people in Europe that might celebrate it, but that's because they used to live here in the States. But the fact that we're all getting free pulls is fantastic. Starting next week, the Gotcha banner with Mega Man EXE, Base EXE, and the Turbo Cannon will be available for the NA European Latin servers. What's more, it'll bring 10 pulls every day for the duration of the banner, which is, again, fantastic. On top of this, next Wednesday brings an additional banner with the limited weapon Savage Tusk of Thunder for all servers, too. This banner will give a guaranteed S rank weapon in the first, third, fifth, and uh, first, third, and fifth, 10 pull. So, just like the previous limited weapon banners, the first, first pull, third pull, and 10. Uh, and fifth ten pull will have guaranteed S rank weapons. Now, as per usual, I you typically recommend people to consider doing at least the first step, as it is at worst one thousand elemental medals for you know nine hundred patches or potentially a new S rank weapon. Depending on how stacked your account is, will I guess kind of determine what the odds are of you getting a you know, a new weapon or patches. But I still think that 1,000 elements of medals for a potential patch, for 900 patches is still pretty good. As opposed to what Capcom Taiwan has done, the Network Garden event will be available at the same time as the Battle of Gotcha banner, but the NA server will have a chance to experience the Dr. Light's lab. So that's actually really interesting that we won't get the, the Battle Network event along with the Gotcha banner. Instead, we're gonna get Dr. Light's lab, which we have not experienced yet in the global version. Uh, it's a bit of a grindier thing in in Taiwan version from what I've seen so far, but you get some pretty cool stuff out of it. The, the, up, the downside is that it takes a lot of your For the time being, it's unknown with Portman EXE and the Network Garden event will be available. Stay tuned for more information down the road. As you can see, Nebula Joy is starting to deviate more, more and more from what Captain Taiwan did in their version of the game. We can only hope that some of the latest feature like DNA or the guild system will come sooner rather than later. I don't, I'm not sure how soon the DNA system will come, as that's very, very new, but the guild system, I think that will come sooner. However, because base EXE is going to be coming soon, let us go hop on over to my Taiwan account and take a look at him. All right, and over here we have base EXE, and I'm actually really excited for this banner. I'm not going to be pulling on it really very hard outside of the free pulls. Well, I'm not going to be pulling on it outside the free pulls, but Battle Network is one of my favorite Mega Man series, so getting more EXE characters introduced is always a good thing in my eyes. So, base EXE, S rank unit, let's see what the skills are. First up, we have Air Burst. Unleash our forward sweeping attack that deals damage to all targets in range, which is quite nice. She done attack in battle network as well. So the the passive chips are increased range by 25%, increased power, increase the damage rate by 5%, and intensive blast, which focuses the range of the burst attack to make it easier to cause uh cause multiple damages. So basically hit one target multiple times with the blast radius. Next up we have explosion, which summons an an what? That's supposed to be enemy seeking? I think it's supposed to be enemy seeking. <laughs> An enemy seeking glowing orb that ignores terrain and deals damage to the target, which is quite nice that it ignores terrain. Deals damage. Flight assistance increased range and flight speed by 10%. Not bad. Increased number of shots by one with ammunition expansion. And a boosted shot enhanced the glowing orb's hit priority and seeking effects while damaging all enemies within its blast radius. So that allows it to just have an AoE effect 
when it hits rather than just hitting a target, which is always nice. Next up for the passive skills, we have Mobility, which reduces the preparation time of Air Burst by 20%. Get Ability Program 1. When your HP drops below 30%, recover 20% of your HP and gain damage enhancement status. This effect will only be activated once per stage. This will be quite nice in multiple situations. Um, maybe not that great in PvP. Uh, I only say that because there are a lot of things that happen later on allowed you get one tapped. So you might not have a chance to activate this, letting your HP drop below 30% because when that happens, you'll probably have zero HP for getting one tapped. But when it does trigger, it'll be pretty nice. So you can go up to a maximum of 49, uh, back up to 49% of this, which is nice. Explosions Evolved, which is when the glowing orb dissipates, it will release four laser beams to damage all targets in the past. So it allows the, the explosion burst to deal even more damage, right? Because it'll, it'll hit the target and then it'll burst into four shots and then Hopefully, they hit the target. Get Ability Program 2. When hitting a target, there's a chance to gain a random buff. This effect will only be triggered once more after 6 seconds. Now, I I assume that what this is saying is that it steals a buff. It has a chance to steal a buff, right? Because Get Ability Program, like, that may, that's what that makes me think of. Because in Battle Network, or in the Anti-Warrior series, Base would see something, and then he would say, hey, I want that. So he would take it for himself, right? That's how he got the life ore from the life ore vi or the, the scuttleless virus. Or maybe it was a life ore virus. I don't remember. But he he obtained it from that virus. And then finally, we have life ore. When using a skill gain, a shield that can withstand 100% of attack damage. This effect can only be triggered again once more after 10 second cooldown. And I love having life ore here. Uh, as a big Battle Network fanboy, just like seeing all these Battle Network references is is great. I love seeing all the references like, you know, Legends, Star Force, etc. But Battle Network is one of my favorite series uh, regarding Mega Man. So, the main reason I hopped on my Taiwan account is, as you might have guessed, there are cards associated with Base EXE. So let's hop on over to the card shop and take a look at them. Alright, so here we are at the Arena card shop. So... We can see that base, both of base's EXE's cards are 1,200 arena coins. So let's take a look at them. First up, we have Ability Transformation 1. The activation of Get Ability Program 2 is increased by 20%, and the reactivation time is now 5 seconds. Again, this is what I had talked about earlier. It'd be great if we knew what the base activation chance was, because increasing it by 20% doesn't tell us anything at all. We know it, it happens you know, 20% more frequently, but we don't know what the base chance is. So what is that? Is it like 4%, 5%, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what that means. And then the generic passive is when you hit a target in damage enhancement status, increase damage yield by 8%, which is quite nice. Triggered off of red, yellow, yellow. Then we have the Life Aura card. Life Aura card. Life Virus 1. The effect of Life Aura is increased by 30%. So... Rather than just increasing or 100% damage, it'll be roughly 130% damage, which is quite nice. And one of the best attacks, well, I'm sorry, one of the best effects on cards, uh, Player Killer 2. When target is a player, increase the damage you deal by 6% and triggers off of yellow, yellow, red. Now that alone makes this card worth getting just because this, this helps a lot in PvP. If you're attacking another player, you deal 60% more damage, which is fantastic because your damage goes up and it's easier for you to obviously deal damage to the opposition. There are other cards with this, but I'm not going to get into all of them right now in this video because I can save that for a separate video of what cards have this or what cards to kind of look out for. But this is a very, very good card. And I think this might be one of the more common cards used just because that's player killer too. So... Just be on the lookout for more cards that trigger off of yellow red or yellow yellow red or some combination of that because you know some cards can trigger off of just two all right i think that covered just about everything i wanted to go over with the base and his cards but there's one more thing i wanted to talk about all right so before we end off this video i had mentioned it before but i wanted to to do uh, at least one giveaway i'm not sure if i'll be doing more of these in the future we will see however um this is gonna be the first one i'm doing uh it's not gonna be very big uh, just going to be two two separate uh, $10 gift cards. Uh, it could either be either, um, you know, iOS or 
or Google Play. Uh, for those of you that play X Dive, you might want to use them on the maybe like the, the battle pass kind of thing or or the the daily drop packs. Or I guess maybe even one of the gacha games uh, you want to use them on. I was just thinking X Dive because this is like what I had in mind when I had put this out. But I'll have the link down below for this in the description. Uh, as you see on screen, you just fill out um, these whatever the, the requirements are. It's going to be uh, check out YouTube channel, follow on Twitch, and then there is a bonus entry unlocked when you complete these two. Anyway. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps the channel out, helps me grow. Let me know your thoughts about base EXE on the cards for base on the Savage Tusk as well. And uh, and how you feel about the about Proto Man and the Network Guardian event being uh, swapped around in place of the Dr. Light's lab. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.